It's the beginning of the month and that means it's time for us to check in with the Torrance Police Department for our monthly community safety watch. Let's go out to reporter Tracy Carter Holsey. Tracy? Thanks, Jen. We're back at the police department for this month's Community Safety Watch. It gives us a chance to check in with the police department about safety issues affecting the community this month. Once again, we're joined by Lieutenant Steve D'Anjou, and we have a lot to get to today, so let's get started with everyone's favorite summer holiday, July 4th. Exactly what problems does the city face each year with fireworks? Well, every year, fireworks are re responsible for a number of injuries, both to uh, children and adults and the setting of a number of fires. About how many would you say you confiscate each year? Oh, every year we confiscate hundreds of fireworks, so much so that we actually had to rent a container to actually house them during the uh, Fourth of July season. So give us the bottom line with fireworks in the city of Torrance. The bottom line is all fireworks in the city of Torrance are illegal, even those that are generally considered safe and sane fireworks are prohibited in the city of Torrance. And on the 4th of July, Torrance will continue its long-standing celebration at Wilson Park, but there's still some rules that people have to follow. Yes, there are. Along with the rest of the city, Wilson Park, it's prohibited to have fireworks there. Along with alcohol will, will be prohibited. Dogs, whether on or off leash, will also be prohibited. It's also important that during the 4th of July celebration, no open canopies will be allowed. Our officers will be, will be patrolling the park looking for violations, these violations and others, and will be issuing citations and or for confiscating any illegal act or items. So going from summer holidays to summer vacations, a lot more people are going to be on vacation in the next summer months. What advice do you have to homeowners to keep their homes safe? Well, it's real important that they make their homes look, look lived in when they're gone. Mm -hmm. You know, stop your newspapers, stop your mail delivery. Let your let trusted neighbor, friend, or relative know that you're going to be gone so they can come by and check your home while you're gone and let them know when you're going to come back. And the city offers a pretty important service for their safety and security. Yes, we do. The Torrance Police Department offers a, a no-charge home security inspection. Uh, any citizen of the city of Torrance can have one of our officers come out, do a full head-to-toe security inspection, looking at doors, windows, the way that their landscaping is, giving them some pointers to make their houses safer and more resistant to, to crime. So before residents go on vacation, they should also contact the police department. Yes, they can actually go online and they can fill out a vacation security check, let us know when they're going to be leaving their homes, when they're coming back, and any particulars we may need to know, like if anybody was authorized to be inside the house. While the, the citizens are away on vacation, our officers will periodically check their home to make sure it's safe. So every resident should take advantage of this free service. If they're interested, how do they get in contact with you? Well, they can get a hold of us on our website at police.torrentca.gov, or they can email us directly at communityaffairs at torrentca.gov. So great advice. Let's move on to a question from a viewer. Rob in West Torrance wants to know what is happening with the crackdown on massage parlors. Why is the city cracking down on these businesses? Well, the city of Torrance enacted a moratorium against licensing of business establishments involving massage parlors uh, or acupuncture or acupressure. That moratorium was enacted back in April of this year. Basically, it's saying that we are not going to issue any more business license to massage parlors or acupuncture or acupressure locations. So why a moratorium? Why are you taking such dramatic action? Well, the city started realizing a large influx of these types of businesses in the city over the last couple of years, and the number of complaints from citizens regarding illegal activity at those locations also rose dramatically. So this was in direct response to that. Well, what about legitimate business owners who want to open in Torrance? Well, unfortunately, the moratorium covers all, business, all businesses related to massage parlors or acupuncture, acupressure, but it doesn't affect the businesses that are already here. So those legitimate massage parlors already in the city of Torrance are not affected by this. Is it permanent? Currently, the moratorium is set to expire in September of 2009. At that point, the city council will give us direction on whether or not they're going to extend the moratorium or rescind it at that point. Well, that is great information. We'll end our discussion there. And we'll be back next month with more of your pressing questions. And we'll talk about curfews for teens and online safety. Thank you again, Lieutenant Steve D'Anjou. Yeah. And reporting from Torrance Police Department, I am Tracy Carter Holsey. Thanks, Tracy. And if you have questions about safety, crime trends, or how the police department works, we can get you those answers. Send them to this week at torrentsca.gov or call us here at 310-618-5762 and leave us your name and what area of Torrance you're from in addition to your question. And we'll try to have the police department answer it on the show. And finally, the city has come up with an innovative